What is up, you guys? Tangerine cookies. So welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're bringing it back old school. Well, today I'm gonna be revealing my brand new handbag, Pineapple Fanta. I swear, it is like clockwork. The second I hit record, the small dick energy and every freaking car want, wants a debut. I, I guess that's, they, they just, they, they want their free promo. What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and this is your first time seeing me, hello, my name is Kayla. So happy to have you here. And today we're just gonna hop right in and get started because it's not only one of my favorites, but it's one of your favorites as well. We're bringing it back old school. Today I'm gonna be revealing my brand new handbag as well as sharing with you guys what I keep inside. If you are new or maybe you didn't catch the video, I ended up bringing you guys with me to purchase the handbag that I'm sharing with you guys today. I was a little clickbaity and didn't actually share with you guys what bag I left with. I will link that video up in the sky if you want to come along for the adventure. But based off this thumbnail, you already know what option I did. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to play around in Pick Monkey and Canva to see what I can come up with. But I'm almost positive that the thumbnail reveals which option I left with and yes you guys I ended up going home with the black one a lot of you guys guessed right but you guys I was so close to leaving with the white option but at the last minute I was like you know what I want to be able to rock this bag as long as possible and the black is gonna help me do that it's just so much harder to keep a white bag clean so i'm gonna introduce you guys to her because she is everything she's absolutely stunning i'm obsessed she's giving me lisa frank transformers i'm that bitch vibe i don't know I don't know, all I know is that I'm truly obsessed. This bag checks all the boxes. You guys know I love a good classic handbag. And this is that, but it adds so much fun and uniqueness with the pop of neon colors just on the trim. It's made so well. I love the structure, top handle as well as crossbody. I mean, what's not to love? It also has a front pocket for your phone or whatever you want to have like, you know, easy access or whatever. And I just love it. And I'm not even kidding. Every single place I go to, there's at least, at least, five people who tell me that they love my bag and men included like I'm not even kidding I have never gotten so many compliments on one bag in my entire life and it's it's truly a showstopper I guess the seagulls are wanting to let you guys know how awesome this bag is too I don't freaking know but the, the pelicans gotta go um and, but anyways, like I was saying, it's that perfect in-between size. You can take a lot of stuff with you, but at the same time, still have to kind of be selective, if you know what I mean. It's also got feet on the bottom, but they're on the corners instead of usually the inside. The neon's also carried all the way down through. I can't even really narrow down my favorite things about this handbag, but the hardware is definitely like one of my favorites. It's just this beautiful neon color shifting chrome metal material like i don't even know how to describe it but it's absolutely stunning now for the main part of the video i'm going to share with you guys what i keep inside so to get into the handbag you just lift this up and kind of pull out i love that feature on handbags and then you just lift this up like i mentioned there is a front pocket and then this is what i've got going on inside the bag as always, there's a method to the madness. So I'm assuming because I'm still kind of breaking it in, it doesn't stay open, which honestly doesn't bother me at all. Again, like I said, I'm assuming it'll kind of give once I break it in, but um, either way, it doesn't really bother me. So um, without further ado, let's get started. I usually would start out with this front pocket because that's usually where I keep my phone, but I have it charging right now and it just easily slides in there i'm sorry but if a purse doesn't have this like what are we doing i don't know but yeah i normally keep my cell phone in there and then right on top i have my little blue light glasses that i've been obsessed with um no i'm not doing co 
computer work out and about i just love wearing these if i'm on the computer or not they just are so cute to me they're a little dirty okay they're a little dirty but i just love the way i look and feel wearing these and who cares if they're prescription or blue light glasses or not i mean i'm looking at my phone i love the way they look so i've been wearing them um and yeah so that's what i have on top next thing i see is a camera battery as well as like the little plug into the wall next thing i see is my little sd card case holder i've raved about this before it's just an easy great way to organize your sd cards i'm missing a few but they're with my laptop at home so i've got that um let's see i've got my wallet pick this up from tj maxx and it's got everything you need card slots on both the inside and outside and a coin purse which is a must for me so love that okay i'm not gonna lie it's kind of a pain in the ass to like hold this and show you guys what's up but i feel like this should be in the shot right i don't know if it ends up not being in the shot halfway through the video that's why um but anyways next thing i see is my little um, pouch that kind of holds a whole a lot of shit in here. I will get into that in a second. Um, and then next thing I see is my passport. You guys know what this is. My little coin pouch. I've raved about this before and I just love this guy because it's super slim. It's green so you can easily find it and you just push the sides together and open it and kind of pushes flat back like that i don't know i just love cute little things like that so that is my little coin um holder and then the perfume that i'm wearing today is the ariana grande i believe this is the thank you next perfume it's the one that sits in the little heart and trust me i would have been extra and brought the heart with me but the bag just isn't big enough for that so I just brought this, but if I was using any other bag that could fit it, I would be packing the heart just because it's, it's just too cute. Now, most of Ariana's perfumes I love. I ended up finding this one at TJ Maxx. It is the mini version, but gosh, it's such an affordable way to get your perfume if you can find ones that you love. Um, so yeah, I've been loving this perfume lately. And then that is it for what's in the middle section. There's a little pocket on the side. So I'm gonna get into that now. I've got a pen, one of my favorites. It just writes so good. I'll give you a close up in a second, but you guys, this just writes heavenly. As of right now, this is my favorite pen. I just love the way it writes. I love the way it sits in the hand. There's just something about it. If you guys are into pens like me, I highly recommend giving this one a try. It's smooth like butter and it makes my handwriting look even better than it already is. I don't get hand cramps when I'm journaling, which is like a must. I think I said more about this pen than anything else in this bag. Like, I don't know what's going on. Am I in focus? focus on me. Alrighty, next thing I see is a fresh new pack of gum. Love a good Orbit pack. This isn't my favorite. My favorite is actually the extra, but obviously too big to fit in this bag. Next thing I have in this pocket is some hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works Open Sky. Okay, second to last thing I have in this pocket is some lipstick. I've been loving this one again by MAC. What is it, Velvet Teddy? Yeah, Velvet Teddy. I'm finally back into wearing lipstick again. You guys, I love it. It just completes the look and I'm tired of letting the mask mandate like hold me back from wearing some goddamn lipstick. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, I've been loving this one. So this is what was left in my purse when Derek and I went to the movies and dinner for our fifth wedding anniversary. Um, yeah, I just love this color. Good cult classic. And then last but not least, last but not least, the rest of the gift card we used when we went to the movies. So I need to actually put that in my wallet. Oh, and then I've got these. I brought them with me. I don't know if you could see that, but they're like little nail adhesive. I'm wearing press-ons, and so I just brought these with me in case 
one ended up popping off or doing something crazy like that. And yeah, I love them. These are my favorite that I've ever bought, but not brand wise. I usually buy the Impress. I highly recommend that is like a ride or die. They last like seven days, no lies. And these are the Kiss. These, not so much, which is a shame because I absolutely am obsessed with the way these look on my nails but they don't last as long and I just don't want to even deal with the fuss of them now I've only tried the like stick on method I haven't tried the glue but that's what's so easy about press on nails is that you don't have to deal with glue you don't have to wait for things to dry you just kind of press and go and the difference between the impress press ons and these is that you take the press on, stick it on your nail, and then put the nail on. With the end press, everything's already done for you. You just stick on the nail. Does that make sense? So I just wanted to go over that really quickly because I've been getting a lot of messages over on Instagram as well as TikTok, believe it or not, about my nails. And um, yeah, these are the Kiss, not the Impress. I would go with the Impress, not the Kiss. Hope that answered any questions. That is everything I keep in my handbag. Um, all empty. Oh yeah, I brought the um, tag and booklet to give you guys the name in case you were interested in purchasing it. So it's called the Manhattan Leather School Satchel. If you wanted to take a screenshot of that. And by the way, your girl did not pay $528 for this bag. No ma'am. The girl went to the outlet mall and they were having such a good freaking deal. It was like their end of their year holiday Christmas sale. And I got the bag for $215 after tax. And I just, I couldn't pass it up. And like I mentioned in the video, when I took you guys down there, I called beforehand to make sure they were having the sale because otherwise I wouldn't have went back and got this bag. So yeah, that is everything that I keep in my bag. I'm going to quickly, and I mean quickly, share with you guys what I keep in here. Now normally the bag that I use to transfer from purse to purse is different, but because of the size of this bag, I ended up just using this one. This one's an Ipsy bag. I got it from like a uh, Value Village for like a dollar or 75 cents or something like that and i love the detail on it super cute it's a little dirty but who really cares not me so uh quickly let's go over what i have in here i've got an extra pair of headphones little ipod dupes what are these ipods no what are these called it's airpods little airpod dupes always keep a charged pair of headphones with me just in case i forget mine when i go to the gym like that is the worst so i've got these with me i've got a uh, people's bank pen who doesn't have a bank pen on them I, I i always do and then i've got a little purell hand wipe and then right on top i've got two joints both sativa i just went to the weed shop that's why these are in here honestly who am i kidding i usually always have some type of cannabis in my purse um again both sativa i got tangerine cookies and pineapple fanta i've got hemp's lotion tied to go pen Chocolate Rockets, a life essential. I rave about these all the time. I've got my reusable straw. Love this guy. Got it from Amazon. So freaking cute. It's like the perfect thing ever. Love it so much. Not gonna lie, I forget that I have it most of the time. Um, so I need to just start keeping this like right here in my car. I've got a little edible gummy with me. You guys have seen this more than once. Yep, still haven't used this. Edibles just, they, they mess me up. And then I've got a $5 casino chip. Clear eyes, of course. I've got some tweezers. A must to keep on hand. You never know when a chin hair or two is gonna pop up out of nowhere. So you gotta, you gotta come correct, okay? And then I've got a crystal in here. And then I've got my little quick fix. I don't know where the cap went to this, but this is basically mascara for your hair. It covers those grays. Um, I've been wearing hats a lot lately, not because of my gray, it's just because, I don't know, I've just been digging hats. But yeah, love this guy, still use this. It's so quick, so easy. It's like dumb proof, you can't mess up and it's just, yeah, quick fix, like it says. And then last thing I have in here is 
this lip oil that I am absolutely obsessed with. I got it for Christmas. My sister-in-law, she is a Arborn rep. She's one of the higher ups. Um, and she always like gives me stuff from them. And usually everything she gives me, I actually really like. But I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't recommend purchasing from a MLM, if that makes sense. But their products are good. Expensive, but they're good. And I love this. Lip oil and it hydrates so well. I love the packaging. It feels so bougie and it really does wonders on my lips. I love it so freaking much. So yeah, that is it you guys. That's all I keep in both handbags. I really hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. Now I'm going to jump into the giveaway portion. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna pick the winners right here, right now with you guys. I thought it'd be more fun and intimate to do it that way. I've done all my giveaways like that, but um, if you weren't familiar, the giveaway winners got some Bath & Body products, a little trio. So the first winner will win the Bonfire Bash trio, and then the second winner will win the Waffle Cone trio. So I wrote down everyone's name who followed the rules and then checked on Instagram as well as TikTok for your extra entries, and they're all in here. So I'm going to shake them up and then pick two winners. I feel like we really gotta shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all around. Shake it around, up and down. Okay, that was corny, but anyways, I just really want everyone to have a good chance. So I love doing the giveaways this way, but when there starts to be more people, I'm gonna have to end up doing the random generator. I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I feel like this way is just so much more like intimate and exciting. But anyways, I feel like that's enough shaking. So, first winner. Who's the lucky winner? Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't... Zendaya Lenzo? I'm I'm so sorry. I'm probably butchering that. I will put your comment up on the screen. I'm so sorry about that. But you are indeed the first winner to win the Bonfire Bash. So that's really exciting. So happy for you. Now, I normally leave a comment below every video that I do. So I'm going to do that in this video as well. So you guys can reply to me on that comment and then I'll get your mailing address addressed however you want to give it to me email instagram tiktok however you want to do it we'll figure it out and yeah congratulations by the way if you end up winning and you don't respond in like 48 hours i will be picking a new winner so make sure you respond and let me know what's going on and i'm not gonna announce the new winner in a video i'll just dm you if that happens to be the case and it'll be kind of like a little surprise but anyways let's pick the second winner Alrighty. Alrighty, make it good, make it good, make it good, make it good. Sabrina Wallen, woo woo! Girl, I am so excited you won. We've gotten really, I don't wanna say really close, but I'm just, I'm so happy that it's going to someone who has been super supportive and yeah, I'm so freaking happy for you. So congratulations, you won the Berry Waffle Cone Trio. And again, I will email you over on Instagram. I already talked to you on over there, so I will email. So yeah, I will hit you up over on Instagram and get your contact information. Uh, congratulations again to both winners. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here and you made it this far, consider subscribing before you leave. I would love for you to join the fam. Enjoy the bloopers and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. What is going on? The second I want to record, people want to act up. Uh, when I showed Derek this, he's like, whoa, what the fuck is that? Where did you get that? The small dicks are coming out to play. The black one. A lot of you guys guessed right. I was honestly very close to leaving with the white one. Did I just say white or black? What did I just say? I... Focus on me!
So the seagulls are losing their mind over this bag as well. So if you hear that in the background, just know that it's it's because of this. But anyways, we're going to try to ignore that. They're literally like hovering above my car. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but the pelicans need to pelicans. I said that last time. The seagulls need to go. What are they? Birds, parrots? I don't freaking know. So without further ado, am I in focus? I don't think so. These kids, do you guys hear them? Keep trying to show off. Okay, watch what happens. You're gonna end up breaking your tire axle because that's exactly what I did, doing donuts in the parking lot like a dumbass. So embarrassing, broke my tire axle. My dad was pissed. Doing donuts in the parking lot. Keep, keep, keep on. Kids, they ain't gonna learn. They ain't gonna learn.